To better understand the role IGF-1 plays in ROP, it's helpful to take a quick look at what happens during normal retinal vascular development in utero. First, we see the development of the vascular structure. Then the retinal vasculature is laid down, starting at the optic nerve and radiating outward as new vessels bud from existing ones. Currently available treatment options aim to inhibit these two systems. A novel treatment approach focuses on the body's own cardioprotective mechanism, the natriuretic peptide system. Natriuretic peptides are released directly from the heart or the vessels to induce vasodilation and thus unload the heart. As the natriuretic peptides are degraded by the enzyme neprilysin, the beneficial effects of the natriuretic peptide system are limited. Therefore, blockade of neprilysin is a promising treatment approach in heart failure. The uterine arteries pump 500 to 700 milliliters per minute into the site at which the placenta is attached to the uterus. After birth, this blood could potentially flow into the uterine cavity and be lost from circulation. In most cases of vaginal delivery, however, the myometrium contracts firmly, compressing the blood vessels and thereby reducing blood flow. A cesarean delivery, although very common and routinely performed, can increase the risk of a PPH developing due to the insufficient contraction of the uterine musculature. Pompeii disease is a relatively rare genetic disorder affecting lysosomal glycogen metabolism. The disease is caused by an absence or reduction in the enzyme GAA. In the human body, glucose is a rich source of energy, which is either used or stored as glycogen. Most glycogen is located in the cytoplasm of the cell, but to a much lesser extent, some glycogen is present in lysosomes of skeletal and cardiac muscle cells. In a muscle cell, glucose molecules come together in long chains to form glycogen. Clot formation involves, among others, platelets and coagulation factors. The platelets are first to arrive at the scene and begin to loosely cover the injury, 